the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation announcing minutes ago that they recovered two dead bodies in rural Texas County. They say both bodies will be transported to the office of the Oklahoma Chief Medical Examiner to ID them and determine the cause and matter of death. This coming in connection with the disappearances of Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. On Saturday, OSBI officials arrested 43-year-old Tad Burt Cullum, 54-year-old Tiffany Matchell Adams, 50-year-old Colt Earl Twombly, and 44-year-old Cora Twombly. Those four suspects were booked into the Texas County Jail yesterday. For our investigative purposes, we're not releasing the uh, relationship between the suspect and uh, victims, um, but that is something that uh, we may be able to discuss more later on. But Right now, we can just say that we believe that these four people um, were involved in the disappearance of both Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. Both 27-year-old Veronica Butler and 39-year-old Jillian Kelly vanished on March 30th while going to pick up children in the Oklahoma Panhandle. The Texas County Sheriff's Office requested OSBI investigate their suspicious disappearance. And according to OSBI, the woman's car was found abandoned in rural Texas County. And through their investigation, OSBI determined there was evidence to indicate foul play. So based on the evidence that we were able to get from the vehicle, um, based on people that we talked to, um, we believed that um, that gave us enough information in order to make these four arrests, in order to charge all four suspects with first degree murder. OSBI, alongside several other agencies, are still working to locate both Kelly and Butler. There were a lot of agencies involved in this, as we've said previously, and so um, we're very thankful for everybody that has stepped up, used uh, their uh, uh, resources to help us. We are still at this point looking for both women. Um, we are hopeful that based on the information that we were being able to obtain over the last week that we can find them here quickly. And OSBI says they're very appreciative of all the tips and help from other agencies they received to help find the suspects and the bodies. And they're holding a press conference tomorrow morning to provide more information. Reporting live in studio, Katie Arada, Fox 25 News.